My name is Brooke Smolder, and I am a show choir choreographer based out of Scott Depot, West Virginia. I was actually raised right here in Scott Depot. Um, I graduated from Winfield High School, and I really grew up dancing my whole life. Um, I grew up in a studio, I did competitive dance, all of that, and in high school, I couldn't wait to be in show choir. I never thought about that being a career. I remember us having a choreographer come in, he was from Indiana, and in my mind thinking, that's like a real job that he does. So when it came time for college, I knew I just really wanted to be on a dance team. Right when I was a senior, my coach was leaving and they offered me to go in for an interview. So I, I took over and got to coach a college dance team, which was an incredible experience. Like to this day, I learned so much from that experience. And honestly, from that, things just kind of snowballed. So I graduated from Marshall University. I have a a bachelor's degree in education, ended up being a math teacher at Sissonville High School. So really it was when I had my daughter, Braylee, I decided I knew I wanted to stay home and, and be a mom. That was more important to me than anything in the world was that I got to be a stay at home mom. So when I left teaching to raise her was when I had more time to do more show choirs. The next thing I know it was like, hey, do you think you could come and do some for me? And hey, do you think you could do some for me? And I mean, it has been the greatest blessing of my life because I can make my own schedule and pick and choose. And now I've gotten to travel and I'm like, is this a job? Like, how is this a job? Because it doesn't feel like a job. When I started teaching a dance, because again, I had always been the one learning the choreography. So to, for me to come up with it and turn around and see what I just did, like come to life, it's like, and the kids have fun. I think that was the thing. I'd see them smile and, and they're struggling to step touch. And then the next thing you know, they're doing the whole song. It's just fun to see the light bulb come on and then get it. I always say that show choir is a choir that dances. We are not a dance team that sings. So that way I always make sure that the directors get all of the accolades for that because everything that they do with those kids is way more important than what I do. I may be the fun aunt that comes in with some glitter and rainbows and jazz hands and we have a great time and dance, but they have to be able to sing. Um, and it's really, really cool and entertaining, the talent in these kids and the sound that they're producing and dancing at the same time. People don't realize how hard that is until they try to do it. You know, it's one thing to stand and sing, but we are asking for full on, you know, dancing for 20 minutes while they're doing it. My goal for them is just that every single week they get better. You know, and I'm not the person that's gonna turn down a group because they may be small or they may be struggling. I have done a show choir that only had seven kids in it. Those seven children loved music. They loved being in that room and we had the best time, but they deserved the same level of education. I am who I am because I grew up in West Virginia. So I think the number one thing is the community of people and how you treat people. Financially, our schools and our programs don't necessarily have what all of the other schools have to offer at their disposal. And I think that's made me more creative. I think that has made me be very resourceful and to think like, no, like I can buy a costume off Amazon and we can compete against the school with $40,000 of costumes, let's go, you know? But the people, the community of people, me growing up that have encouraged me and supported me and pushed me that's definitely made me who I am. I mean, my parents, I couldn't do any of this without my parents. Sure, there's obstacles, but it will happen if it's meant to happen, but you can't get discouraged and you can't give up. I tell my daughter all the time, like, there's always somebody better than you. There's always a better choreographer. There's always somebody prettier, somebody funnier. You know, you gotta stay in your own lane. Find yourself a goal, do what you're really good at to the absolute best of your ability. You really have to work hard. There's no easy fix to this. The biggest thing is you have to realize that you have to start somewhere. So you're not gonna start with a choir of 60 people that's winning every weekend. That's not how it works. You know, you start with that choir of six and seven children that need someone to go and help them. No work is ever too little to get that experience under your belt because it's one thing to be an excellent dancer, it's another thing to be a great teacher. 
ask questions, go take classes, go, go learn from people, and then slowly find where you belong, find what you're great at, and start inserting yourself in there, you know, to do little bits and bits at a time, because it is rewarding, but it doesn't happen overnight. It, it, you really have to take the time to do it.